Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Deck Deck, and today we're doing another Phasmophobia solo hunt, and there's only one reason we'd be doing that. Prison? Yeah, we're going to prison. Recommended items, sanity pills. So it's a medium size, same as high school, recommended for three people. We're not messing about. We're going straight in with just myself on professional. Anyway, what are we adding? Another EMF reader. Give me another photo camera, maybe two. I'll take a lighter, not bothered about candles. Give me another UV light. I'll take all the crucifixes I can get. Some of them, one, two, three of them. Another spirit box, definitely give me the salt. Uh, strong flashlight. Flashlight? Yes, a flashlight. Uh, give me two thermometers, all the sanity pills, an extra ghost writing book, and a couple of glow sticks. I'm adding extras in case I just want to throw things down and not go and re-pick them back up, if that makes any sense. So, I've not actually played this map yet. You're watching me go in somewhat blind. Now, Brittany, or Aqua Blue, as a gamer tag is, has been on Game Edge's stream just last night for me, actually. And um, I did watch her segment of it, so I've got a rough idea. Lovely. Beard here. I've got a rough idea of um, the layout, but nothing too in-depth. Obviously, I was watching from Game Edge's perspective, so... And give me one of them. We're going in with the bog-standard equipment. I've got nothing else to report, unfortunately. Huh. You're useful. Uh, witness a ghost event, EMF, hunting with the crucifix, Stephen Garcia, and it likes people alone. So this is the map. Two floors. The, that's cell block A, that's cell block B. We've got the upstairs bit in the middle. Downstairs, we've got like the entryway. I assume that's like a, a courtyard sort of thing? Or a canteen, even? I'm just trying to think from prison architect how I designed my canteens. Uh, that would be at cell block A, cell block B, bottom floor. Let's just go. Let's just go. So, professional, no practice. Oh, it's big. That's what she said. You know what? Right there. I don't only get screenshots in game for this one, but you can hear the wind blowing through the fences. That's terrifying. Stop it. It has actually been a while since I played Phasmophobia. As you can tell by me walking around with a torch in my hand and nothing else. So for me, it's just going to be a case of walking through every room and seeing what we can find. Anybody else just hear like a metal door then? It's very quiet. Oh god. <laughs> Ooh, they're quick. I'm going this way because it sounded like it, the noise came from this way. Now it sounded like it came from that way. Is there any light switches in here? I'd really like to just be able to see a touch. I mean, I don't even know if... Oh my god, they are so fast. There we go. I'm just trying to see if we can find the bone as well. I am very nervous about this one. No, there's definitely something happening. I'm going to say soul block A. You just take, keep hearing tings of metal. Could be the canteen, if that's the canteen. Just keep listening. I'm going to be quiet for a bit. <clears throat> Did you hear that? God, this room is huge. I 
I'd really like it to not be in here. Not getting any temperature drops. I should be flicking between this and the EMF realistically. Don't give me a hallway ghost, please. Not on a brand new map. What is that noise? Or is it just ambient noise? Ooh, don't know. Should we have a look? Well, I should have stuck in cell block B. See, it's got to be ambient noise. It's too frequent. Bit of a library? I heard that. That sounds less like an ambient background noise. It's almost like it's banging on the bars. I want to keep these doors open. These doors open in case um, I need to run. Now, if it's the R, I'm going to be so screwed. Because my battle plan here is to just run, not hide. One hundred percent. Right, we've got some stairs. I'm not sure if that was downstairs or upstairs, though. I'm not doing very well here, am I? I didn't just see negative temperatures there, did I? No. Maybe we could uh, cuff the ghost. some jail cell doors up here. Finally, some light. <laughs> oh god. Absolutely downstairs. Absolutely downstairs. That slam was far too wet, uh, far away. For it to be upstairs. Oh my god, the creaking and the squeaking of the prison. Minus nine. It's never in the stairwell. Are you joking me? I'm not the only one that saw minus nine then, right? Damn it. Where was it? There was a minus eight there as well. Minus nine. Is it a stairwell? Got to be. You just opened or closed something. Now I've been trying to leave everything open. It doesn't look like anything's been closed. Oh, this is tricky. Is that screeching? All the doors are open still. So, what did it just slam?
I think I'm dealing with something in this hallway. Just watching that temperature. That was back in this first room, wasn't it? Here we go. Find you. Minus ten, absolutely. We got you. And now I can hear it turning lights on and off. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do anything. <clears throat> So, just try to turn that light on there. We need some more gear. That's got to just be ambient sounds. I'm sorry, but it's got to be. Right, freezing temperatures. Please tell me it ticks off the R. I can run from it. Thank God. We may survive this one yet. <laughs> oh dear. Jesus, wind. All persons entering NEM are subject to searches as their items in their possession and their vehicles, individuals who do not comply will, be a, will not be allowed entrance into the facility and will be requested to leave the premises. If necessary, appropriate law enforcement authorities will be called. Contraband. Hmm. Well, I don't think I'm getting arrested. At least I hope I'm not getting arrested. Ooh. Ticked off EMF and a ghost event? What ghost event did I witness? Now, I don't know where the cameras are in this. Surely they've got a camera in the visitation rooms, right? Nope. Um, I don't really want be hunted anytime soon. Let me take a book and a camera. Turn it on. And we're going to go and throw these into the uh, the visitation room. <clears throat> Although it seems like the prisoner's side. <clears throat> so I am going to have to have a quick loop around that hallway. And then we can see, hopefully it doesn't keep turning the light on and off between me going out and me coming back in. Stop! Hammer time. Right. Not there. I mean, I might be able to throw the camera down in here. I don't know if it'd reach through or not, though. But it's definitely that room where it's turned the lights on. I don't know where the hell I'm running, by the way. I'll probably run to the cell block A if I need to run. Nice big open area. I'm going to put this down at the end. Because then it might catch some in that room, maybe. Throw that down there. That's going to be too close. Should be able to see it on camera there, I'd have thought. Right, I need to find the light switch for this room now. I can hear you. I'd prefer if you left those off for me. I'd be very grateful. I should really still have the EMF scanner on me. Just in case. I keep hearing my pacing. It's very quiet. That's why I have this game on very loud, so you guys can hear it as well. In fact, I'm actually going to turn my volume up just a fraction. So I really want to be trying to pick out where these noises are coming from. I know we found the room like, but still, just in case. Alright, let's have a look on our camera. It'd be nice if we got ghost orbs straight away. So we want number 13. Good camera angle. I can see the book quite nicely from here. 
Although it could probably do with being a fraction closer. But I don't think there's anything in that. Now really I could do with another camera pointing back down this way. Just in case the orbs are at the end of the room. But then again I could always just move this camera. Um, I think I'm going to take both crucifix in now. I'm going to throw one in the actual visitor's room. I'm not bothered about my sanity at this point. I'm going to throw one in the actual guards bit of the visitor's room. I guess you'd call that the control room. Uh, I'm going to throw one in the actual prisoner's section of the visitation room. It is a creepy looking prison, though, you've got to admit. Just listening. Slammed that door. I hope that's not EMF 5 while I'm not there. Keep ringing, keep ringing, keep ringing, keep ringing, keep ringing. Not 5. You know, it could actually be this room as well. I think it is that room. The freezing breath doesn't follow us all the way down, does it? Right then, let's try again. You can go down in there. I'm going to grab both of these. Excuse me. Oh yeah, I've got my torch out. And then freezing breath comes back. Are you joking me? Playing with the lights in this room. Ooh, sugar. That came out of nowhere. Keeps pressing these light switches. I'm not really getting freezing temps in here either. I'm not hanging around, I'm not waiting. No, we want to go back, we want to get more equipment. I think another camera would definitely be a good shot, and it keeps the hell was that? What was that? I hope that caught it on the recording. Why did my entire vision go blurry? Is the ghost trying to blind me? Whew. It's screaming in my ear. It's making me go blind. Let's have a look at the sanity now, because I still don't want to be um, a target, if I can help it. 72 is good. Nothing in the book. Can't say as I can see any orbs. I think I'm going to throw the camera back into that room, just there. But I'm going to actually take in the black light and the spirit box. You know, actually, a sound sensor or sound monitor would be quite good in this situation. Because it would help pinpoint which room the most noise is coming from. So why don't you go back and get one? Because I don't want to. Okay? Because I don't want to. I'm fully expecting fingerprints in here. Either on one of the light switches or the jail doors. throwing things, it's tinging on the bars. I thought I saw freezing breath coming in then. Where would the fingerprints even be on this? I don't 
don't like it. Hmm. Are you close? Do you want me to leave? Talk to me. Say something. What do you want? Ooh! <gasps> Ooh! No, that's only a four. God damn it. Did you see that right in front of me then? Holy Christ. I'm going to get more equipment, and that's what I'm going to keep telling myself. I can hear you. Now, I'm actually thinking that might have been a hunt. Maybe it was trying to kill me. A lot of things happened all at once then. Somewhat terrifying. I didn't move the book, did I? Damn it. No, crucifix is still on the board. It was activity 10, though. Ghost orbs. In case you didn't see it, it was just up in this top corner. There we go. We are looking at those... Let's go back to the start. So we want EMF5, spirit box, or writing. EMF5, spirit box, writing. I'm going to take another book back in just so we can dot them around. Give me the other EMF reader as well. I've not got to get a photo of it or anything. Don't get me wrong, a photo would be nice, but at the moment, <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no. I think it's in that room before. The uh, the visitation room. Just the little entrance way. I did just take some pills, didn't I? I can't remember. Oh, I do hope I did. Stop it. What was that? It was too quick, I couldn't tell what it was. Let's throw one down there. One down there. too easy. Do you want me to leave? Say something. Talk to me. Are you violent? Show me a sign. Say something. What do you want? I just 
swear I just heard it throw something in here. I don't think them files are meant to be on the floor. EMF around the room, I've got books around the room. It's not spirit box, is it? Stupid. Do something. Interact with the door. Can you close the door? Turn on a light. Give me a sign. Do something. Can you close the doors, please? Seem like any fingerprints on the windows. Do something. Only a two. Ooh, sugar, no. <laughs> That's only a two. We'll just throw this in the front of there, maybe. Do something. Okie koki. Okie koki. We need to annoy it, don't we? Stephen Garcia. Stephen Garcia, come get me. I'm sure that black light just flashed on and off. Maybe it tried to hunt me. Hey, if I could tick everything off in one go. I'd be a happy dude. Oh, a real happy dude. We've had some good activity in here. This has been a good hunt. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I was tempting fate by saying this has been a good hunt. Um, oh, yeah. I changed my button to tab. I was wondering why Jay wasn't doing anything. Um, what did I just get? EMF 5. It's a Phanatom. And hopefully, we have already ticked off Crucifix. So I've not got to go back in there. It's been fun, prison. <laughs> But I don't think I want to do another solo hunt of you. I said as soon as it came out, I'd do a professional hunt. And there we go. It's not ticked it off, you beastie. Yep. Right, we're going for this. <clears throat> I'm trying for all contracts. Let me just adjust myself. <sighs> we're ready. Let's get back in there. Ooh. Oh, sweating a bit now. <laughs> I miss this. With the new maps, not knowing what's happening, where things are and stuff. You get used to um, all the maps and get familiar with stuff. Come on. A photo would be nice, but I'm not saying I'm going to get one. Stephen Garcia. What was that? Stephen Garcia. Show yourself, Phantom. Stephen Garcia. Do something. I'm not scared of you. Stephen Garcia. Show yourself, Stephen. 
Steven Garcia, show yourself. Steven Garcia. Steven Garcia. Come on, Steven. Show yourself. Are you frightened, Steven? Are you scared? You're driving me slightly insane. Steven Garcia. Nope. It counted. I think that was a hunt. EMF's ringing out on five. It appeared, started gurgling, and didn't want to leave. I managed to get a photo of it and interaction. Maybe it tried to slam the door on me or something there. I mean, it's not exactly a, a grade A photo, is it? But. Surely that was a hunt. Surely that was a hunt. Them photos were terrible, though. I have noticed that, by the way. If the ghost flashes up and you don't quite get it, it does sometimes still count. So that's why I went a little bit snap happy. It's not ticked it off! It's not ticked it off! Are you joking me, Stephen? Are you joking me? I did say we're not leaving until we've done all the contracts. God damn it, what's my sanity at? It's still above half. I just don't see how that wasn't a hunt. I know sometimes the board does take a while to update. And I was kind of hoping it was that. I'm going to move the crucifixes. I'm going to put one down the end of the room, one in the doorway of the room. Because they've got to have a distance apart. Otherwise they cause problems with each other. Or one of them just outright won't work. Which we don't want. Just happy to see me apparently. What? Since when can they appear in multiple rooms? He's closing doors in there now. What? That's where he spawned that time. He did spawn in here before as well, though. But that means I need to keep this one in the middle of this room. Steven Garcia. Show yourself, Phantom. Are you trying to kill me, Steven? It's not very nice, Steven. Don't you spawn in here, Steven. I don't really want to kite you. I don't know why I'm telling him that. It's got to have hunted me. I know EMF 5 doesn't necessarily mean it's hunting. But it is a good indicator that there's activity going off. And he did appear again. You could hear him walking. I just don't know which goddamn room he spawned in. If it's not ticked it off, my last ditch effort's going to be to go and smudge the room. It's not ticked it off. And it didn't go up to 10 anyway, so he wasn't hunting. Did count as a ghost photo. <clears throat> Taking a photo of the phantom will make it temporarily disappear. Ooh, I forgot that little feature. Give me a new camera. I'm somewhat less scared now, but I'm not sure if it starts hunting the camera trick still works. I'm just literally going to run through the door screaming its name. Maybe not screaming, but I wouldn't want to do that to your eardrums. He's being a bit of a pig. Are you ready? Steven Garcia! Come get me, Phantom! 
Yep, we're getting brave now. Steven Garcia. Come get me. I'm not scared of you. Steven Garcia. Come get me. Steven. Oh, Steven. Steven Garcia. Steven Garcia. Steven Garcia. Show yourself. Do something, Phantom. Steven Garcia, come here now. Show yourself, Phantom. I'm not scared of you. I'm not frightened. I'm not insane. Steven Garcia. Come get me, Steven. Come on, you know you want to. <gasps> oh, sh Jesus. Steven Garcia, damn it. That was terrifying. Steven Garcia, I'm going now. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god, I about jumped out my skin. <laughs> I've done winding him up now. If it's not ticked it off, then so be it. Oh my word. How many times has he screamed in my ear today? Not sure if that was my footprints or Stephen was right behind me walking me out of the building. Oh, my days. Whew. Please have ticked it off. I'm going if it's not. We've been going for like over 30 minutes now. I'm terrified. I don't want to die. That was at a 10. Now. Well, journal's filled in, so... F that S, I'm out. Bye, Stephen. Maybe I wasn't quite getting the right room, but I'm sure it was that little uh, that little room at the front there. $220. Not bad. Not bad. So, that was fun. If that's the word you want to use. Ooh, baby. Prison's definitely uh, been fun. Um, I'm fairly sure the people that I play with are going to be wanting to play a little bit of Phasmophobia in the next day or two so i may have to uh, kindly inform them that i'll be recording now the only problem is i've still got a massive backlog of videos that i've recorded from like back when we started i might actually just whip through some of them very quickly and see if they're like top tier stuff because at the minute i've been doing absolutely every recording that i've got there we go um yeah, if we're not, like, jumping out of skin or anything stupid like that, I may skip through it so I can get through the footage quicker. Which I didn't really want to do. Because I have wanted to show, like, all our progression as we've gone. Ta-da! Uh, as we've gone through the game and got braver and learnt new tricks and stuff. Look at that for a catch. Um, but, you know, there's no newer stuff out there now, and I don't want to be lagging behind just because I've recorded so much. The only other thing, ta-da, yes. The only other thing is I just massively join a load of clips together and um, get them out quicker that way. But I'd rather not do that because, not saying names, Reese. Some people tend to make some comments that wouldn't quite be appropriate. I already do the uh, the disclaimer thing at the start and say it's got foul language and stuff, but. Some of the stuff he says is beyond just foul language sometimes. Not saying that it's horrible or anything. He's just sick and twisted. Kind of like me. Um, but yeah, I, I, why can I not nail this throw? Every, damn it. What? And then it's too far away. I hate you. Uh, but yeah, I, I generally can't do that sort of thing. Because I don't want to miss any, like, properly bad comments. Um, but yeah, it's been dead fun. I hope you guys have been um, having as much fun as me. I don't know if that's the right word in there. If you guys have been as terrified as me. But um, that is going to be it for today's episode. Now, this doesn't mean the series is starting back up, by the way. I should add that in there as well. It's just, damn it, a bit of a one-off. I'm not starting the series back up for one new map. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Um, 
it is just a one-off episode but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed it so uh thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some moral comments and feedback greatly appreciated as always and other than that i'll see you guys next time cheers